tutorial of Revit, we will be discussing in detail about the viewing options available in Revit. Starting with the hide and unhide view. For instance, I have to hide this lab. Then I will select this lab and right click on the workspace and click on hide in view. In hide in view, I'll click on elements. Since I have selected the particular element, I have to hide. Then if I have to reveal the element once again, then I go to the toggle hidden elements option and click on unhide elements. After selecting the element, I want to unhide, which I previously hide. Now, for instance, I have to hide this column. So I will click on hide element. But for example, I have to hide all the columns having particular similar properties. So I'll select by select all instances and hide them all together rather than selecting them each at a time. And in similarly, I'll unhide them going to the toggle hidden option and select them all together using select all instance option and then unhide it from here. In another manner, you can click on, for instance, I have to hide the beams. So I'll all together hide the category. That's an other way of hiding similar property members or framing members. So I'll unhide the view and click on category since they were all structural framing members. So they were all together unhidden from the view, which we previously hide using the category option. So that is how we use hide and unhide tool in Autodesk Revit. Now there is an important option of the phase created. Phase created will define in which phase the structural member is existing or was existing. For instance, I select super structure. Then the view will only show the structural members that are in super structure or that are defined by their property as super structure. The project completion option shows all the elements modeled by default. For instance, the footing rectangular, the face created is project completion. So it is showing us all together in project completion while the column is selected in existing or you can change it to any of the face you like for right now I'll click on demolition so right now if I go to the view option and click on the objects to be demolished which are drawn in the Revit model so it will show me the column which I have put in the demolished phase and similarly project completion will tell me what is the outcome of the project construction phase so I have changed the demolition member back again to project completion. Now if I go to level, we have an important option in the level view called as view range if i go to view range you can see three different levels and a view depth level in order to understand the view range you have to see the preview of this window you can see the primary range primary range cut plane primary range depth level and view depth these will help you understand how to adjust the view range for a particular view you can change these numbers and see if particular element is visible in the window or not. For instance, you are unable to see a beam in the level, then you have to adjust the view range such that the beam is visible. Another option that is very amazing for viewability in Revit 
for complex structures we have to use this option that is the section box if i reduce the section box scope then the structure outside the section box will be hidden from the view and if i reduce the section box further then this structure inside the section box will become smaller for instance i have to see only the last two columns and the structure in its catchment width so i reduce the section box literally and similarly expanding back the section box will make the structure visible once again for opening the section box i go to properties and then click on the section box check similarly you can change the view of the structure model we have different views available right now i selected the wireframe option you can go to hidden line option shaded option consistent colors option realistic option right now if you see the members are visible as hidden or transparent if you select all these members and assign them to project completion phase then these members will become fully opaque or the transparency will go to zero that means all the items are to be newly constructed so i have selected them in the project completion phase for the better visibility if i have to select a particular column in demolition phase then i'll be selecting the column and click on demolition phase so whenever i go to the demolition phase view that particular column or the structural member to be damaged or destroyed will be visible only That is how we manage the viewing options in Autodesk Revit.